Hey, Queer V here, uh, ready for another video on me painting an ACEO. Woo! So this one is for my best friend, um, Krista, and <laughs> actually she uses a different name, but if I say it out loud, it's, it's a bad word. So I'm not going to say it out loud, but um, her name is Krista, so I'll say that. <laughs> instead. Um, so the colors that she gave me to work on, to work with, were um, like teal, like a bright teal, uh, gold or yellow, and black. So I don't know why, for some reason, I just thought like a snapback hat would be a really good idea uh, with those colors because they're like bright and fun and kind of like, I don't know, uh, I just thought it'd be a good idea. But the only paint I had in the exact color that I wanted to use was this really cheap uh, Craft Smart, it's right here, uh, Craft Smart acrylic paint that you can get for like, I don't know how much I got it for, probably like 30 cents or something. Well, it's not focusing, but whatever. Uh, yeah, it's like really cheap. I have a bunch of them. I like. I think I bought a bunch at one point um, from Michaels or something. But yeah, I mean, they do the job. Um, it was a really pretty color. I guess I could have tried to mix uh, mix the paints I have, uh, my Reeves acrylic paints, to create this color, but I thought that was going to be really difficult for me um, since I'm not super experienced with mixing colors, and I really, really like the shade of that um, of this Craftsmart paint, so I decided to just use it and, you know, if I get some weird lines and stuff, and some weird stuff because of it, that, that's okay. Whatever. It's really pretty color. So, um, I also used my, um, golden high flow acrylics a little bit that I got from January 2017 Art Snacks box. Oh my god, please focus. Hooray! So yeah, I use these a little bit just for like um, shading and, oh I use it right there, <laughs> uh, just to add a little bit more color and um, I thought since those paints are kind of translucent it would work pretty well with these even though I was using like craft paint also, it, it worked out pretty well. Um, I really liked how this went, how the, how the design of, of this went. I, I did definitely uh, copy a, a picture that I saw of uh, this, there's this brand, I guess, Diamond Co. Snapback hats. I don't, I don't even know about that brand, but I thought that the diamond looked really cool <laughs> on a snapback, so I decided to steal their little logo, but that's, I don't really mean to be, you know, like, supporting their brand or whatever. I, don't, I have no clue what that is. I just, like, Googled, like, <laughs> snapback hats, <laughs> and that's what came up, so. Um, so yeah, I, I liked the the diamond, even though, you know, that's not really, I'm not going for the brand, just for the hat idea, but, uh, yeah, and I, I started adding in some, like, of the yellow translucent, uh, neon paint to add sort of, like, I don't know, weird highlights or something, and I think that kind of worked, but it, it, it did make it a little, like, green, so then I tried to pull in some white acrylic paint also to give a little bit to make it, I don't know, less green, and to, but to still give that, like, highlight look. So, yeah. <laughs> and the paint did move kind of weird, but also I'm not, I'm not super familiar with working with acrylics, so it was fine to use that craft paint, really. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing with other acrylic paint either, so. <laughs> um, I thought that the colors were really, really nice together. Like, again, I know I've said this in other videos, my webcam doesn't really pick up colors super well. Um, these colors are much prettier in person, I promise. Uh, but yeah, this this was something I really enjoyed painting. It's like a simple, simple little thing, but I thought it was a really cute idea for like a little card, and it's like a very like graphic uh, style. I did mix the paint with some water here, and I, I used too much water. I used too much water. Um, I don't really know how to mix acrylic paint. 
with water, I guess. Are you even supposed to do that? I don't know. I feel like I've seen other people do it. <laughs> Maybe not. I have no clue. Maybe I should Google these things, but it's more fun to experiment and figure out things on my own, I guess. <laughs> I try to do a mix of both. Uh, but yeah, the lines for the hat, they didn't come out perfectly. Um, and that's because I... I, I don't really have any tiny brushes that are good. Like, the tiny brushes that I have are, like, Reeves. Oh, I don't even see where they go. Okay, they're like these. I got this, like, set of really terrible Reeves brushes. Like, the points are not... Do you see that? Like, that is not even a point. Oh, my God, please go back to focusing or not. But, yeah, I mean, that is not a point. Like, that is, is, is really difficult to get, like, um, like, detailed lines with these, these, this Reeves brush, and it's the only tiny brush I have, so I, I end up using my bigger brushes to create tinier lines, and I'm not good at it. I'm not. I'm not good at that. I know that a lot of artists are skillful at using just the tip of, you know, your pointed paintbrush, but I'm not, I'm not good at it. <laughs> so, yeah, I, this is when uh, I started to put in the gold, which the gold is, um, is nicer paint. It is uh, golden. Oh, let me find it. Oh no, I dropped it. Oh, I should have been prepared. Ah! <laughs> Um, I love this paint. It was really expensive. It was like seven dollars, but I love it so much. Please focus. There we go. Uh, it's really beautiful. It's it's like the most pretty gold paint I've ever owned in my life. It's also the most expensive paint that I've ever bought uh, for myself, but I really wanted it, <laughs> and I'm glad that I bought it um, because it's it's really it's really been beautiful in everything that I've used it for, and I haven't even used it that much, um, maybe because I'm afraid to use it because it is expensive, but everything I've used it in, I think it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's very, very metallic, uh, very shiny, um, and it really gives it kind of like a gold leaf kind of look. I think it's really beautiful, so I thought it'd be fun if I did the diamond in like a gold color, but then it was kind of hard to see the different lines and with this metallic gold paint it was really difficult to get like a darker line so I so I decided just to go in with silver because I also have well it's on the ground so I'm not gonna go get that but the same brand golden uh, silver paint the silver one was cheaper that one was like five dollars I don't know why but whatever <laughs> so I really like both those paints a lot and um, I think that they together looked really pretty like the gold and the silver together on the diamond I thought looks really nice it's kind of hard to see because um it's so reflective that it's like reflecting too much on the webcam you can't really see the, the details because it's so shiny but it's really pretty it's really pretty um but since there wasn't a lot of uh since there wasn't like a hard line I decided to go around with the darker blue and kind of give it an outline so that it would stand out more because I really want that to be I guess the focus of, of the painting a little bit because it's like diamond is shiny it's like pretty <laughs> it's like the icon of that it's a diamond woo and you know because my friendship with Krista is so valuable like diamonds <laughs> And I went in and put uh, some yellow on the uh, top of the hat because I thought it would give it a little more, make it a little more dynamic, um, put a little more color on, on there. And I, I like how it turned out. I, I was kind of messing around with colors and throwing stuff on there. Um, but I really, really liked it. Uh, yeah, it was, it was super fun to play with. And... Um, since I'm not very experienced with acrylics, again, the craft paint was okay. I mean, it did a, it did a little bit of weird stuff, but maybe that was me. Maybe that was me doing the weird stuff. <laughs> I don't know. 
I mean, I did prefer the uh, painting with the golden paints. They felt better uh, to paint with, but yeah, the craft, the craft smart one was fine. And um, this is going to take a while for me to fill out the background. So I'm going to kind of skip over this a little bit. Um, but also, <laughs> I did want to say when, <laughs> when I was replaying this back real fast I had left the um I had left the uh the audio on so I since I speed up the track the audio was also sped up and I heard it <laughs> some of it I sing while I paint so I heard some really funny sounds and I'm gonna share a few with you right now <laughs> Yeah, I hope you liked those. <laughs> so yeah, I'm uh, I'm sort of bad at, at editing videos, so I decided, you know, well, a good thing to crop out of this will be just me painting the background black. So hope that was cool to just speed that part up real fast, because um, then I get into the next part of outlining the hat because at first I thought that that was my idea of like that that was it that was done but then I was like uh you know the hat isn't like popping from the black background as much as I want it to so what can I do what can I do to fix that and so you know I decided um, my brilliant idea of using the golden paint to outline that There we go. <laughs> and you know, I thought, oh, that's a really good idea to outline this in this gold. And I did pull out the Reeves brush to do that. Um, and that's because I really wanted a fine line and I just decided, you know, I'll have to chance if the brush tip goes a little wonky, I'll you know, it doesn't have to be a perfect straight line outline, I just need it to be small, and I knew that I could get a small line with that brush, even if it wasn't, like, totally accurate, so it wasn't important to be super straight and accurate for this, so I decided to just use that brush, even though I hate it. <laughs> and, yeah, um, so then I closed it off, finished it up, and I ended up being really, really happy with this piece, and I, I think that the part that made me the most happy was the metallic paints. The, they really, I think they really make a difference. They really make the painting pop and make it into something more than, you know, just a picture of a hat. Which, you know, I like pictures of hats. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. So, yeah. Uh, anyways, I, yeah, I really, really enjoyed painting that. So yeah, it was kind of weird to do this, you know, with acrylic paint, but I really like how it turned out, even though I was using mostly really bad, uh, craft smart, you know, craft acrylic paint, but I mean, it's really simple, but I like, I like how it turned out. The gold is super pretty on it, and I think, um, that my friend will really like it. And I hope you guys enjoyed that video. See you around. Happy holidays.